In this short film, you will learn how craniosacral therapists can help calm an agitated nervous system and promote healing energies and total well-being at a fundamental level. The result is that a person feels better, better connected to themselves, a better sense of equilibrium and a calm sense of wellness. Craniosacral therapy is not like any other healing modality. There is no channeling of energy by the therapist. It takes time to become proficient because the therapist must learn new ways of perceiving the client's mind-body system via gentle physical contact and the use of all his or her senses. Therapy starts with the ability of the practitioner to enter a state of presence oriented to the expression of something called primary respiration throughout the fluids and tissues of a client's body. The idea is that the body expresses tide-like rhythms and movements which flow through it constantly in two basic directions. This primary respiration was discovered by William Garner Sutherland and it has nothing to do with lung breathing. In the inhalation phase of primary respiration, the potency surges from its midline superiorly and transversely to the wider field around the body. During the exhalation, the potency surges inferiorly and inwards towards the body's midline. There are different frequencies or tides that the therapist tunes into. The mid-tide and its fluid tide has a frequency of about two to three times a minute, while the long tide is the most formative level of primary respiration and is a deeper, slower rhythm of about 50 seconds for inhalation and 50 seconds for exhalation. The long tide is totally stable and is a basic resource for the person, even in the most traumatized situations. Craniosacral therapists tune into the movements of these primary rhythms by directly contacting the body with various holds and clinical intentions. This is all based upon gentle physical contact and negotiated relationship. This has many advantages. Sometimes talking about a trauma can be very difficult for a person and doing so may overwhelm and re-traumatise them. It is also possible that damage was done a long time ago and the patient can't remember or articulate it, as with a baby. Within the context of craniosacral therapy, the practitioner holds a relational field oriented to primary respiration to allow traumatic process to express in resourced ways for true resolution. The pre-birth environment the tremendous forces on a baby's head during birth or shock of a caesarean may have a huge impact. The attuning skills of a craniosacral therapist help a baby to feel listened to and to begin to relax and let go of the trauma. Practitioners help our clients to reorient to their own original health matrix or blueprint and instead of orienting to the accident or trauma or stress, the psyche and body can let it go. Usually, it does not look as if a craniosacral therapist is actually doing much at all. This is because they are trying to help the recipient to achieve a still, calm, healing space. It is the client's own natural healing mechanisms, the primary respiration and the innate wisdom of their own body that does the healing work. These are far more powerful and effective than any physician. Their body knows best, and this is called the inherent treatment plan. In stillness and calm, states of balance occur where tissues are reorganized and feel warmer and more comfortable. When unresolved history heals, primary respiration and its tide-like motions may be expressed in a stronger and clearer way. The nervous system may resolve its activation and the person's body may function with greater ease. Tensions are let go of, blockages are resolved and energy returns to places that felt cold and numb. At the close of the therapy, the body's life forces or potency, which has organizational, protective and healing functions, may become more available so a person can resolve health problems more naturally.